What's up guys, it's TKX back at it again with some more Cuphead. And uh, I know that it's very odd because we usually don't meet on the main menu, but I did so this time because I wanted to show you guys how far we've come in just five episodes, which is at 50%. So I can only assume that maybe another five or less would probably finish this off. So I'm um, very excited to see that we've actually made some progress and the suffering is actually worth it. And and, you know, we're back in World 2. We're still in World 2. Just the last bit of it, though. Because as soon as we do this run and gun, we'll be off to the next world. And I will not have to see this torturous place ever again. Such a welcome to see a new area. But first, let's do this funhouse frazzle run and gun. Not much room in the areas over here, but... I hope that this is quick and painless. Probably not going to be painless at all, but, you know, one could hope. Probably the first time I've ever, like, just getting straight into fighting a boss. Or, you know, you know, the game in general. What? What is that? Pericard? What is that? Whoa! 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 What are you hitting me with right now? I don't like this already. I don't. <laughs> How do I get used to this? The car is coming on that side. Let me go down. Nope. I already don't like this. <laughs> I already don't like this. We go up? We can go up on the ceiling. And, okay. So. Okay. I feel like for this in particular invisible dash is gonna be my best friend but at the same time I'm gonna have to figure out I'm gonna have to figure out exactly what the timing is for invisible dashing cuz of course it wouldn't it wouldn't uh, you know take away the damage completely if I don't land in the right area one thing I, I am seeing that I like about it is that there's a certain there's a uh, certain hyper armor when I hit the cards. So I don't immediately take damage if I hit the cards. Okay, yeah. that was... I hit the card though. Well, that just completely denied what I thought was a fact. But yeah, I, I don't know what we start from here. If that's if that wasn't true. Be gone, fuck. Okay, I know. I hit it in the eye. I hit it in the eye. And this is the first part. This is the first part of the running gun. Okay. Okay. Shoot it right in the eye. And it shoots back. It shoots back. Oh no. This is like a mini boss stage. And this is just the first half. I feel like I'm gonna, I'm going to need the, uh, I'm gonna need those lives. I'm gonna need the extra hit point just to get used to this. But then I do less damage. Darn, this is gonna be difficult. Oh my. Just aim, just aim up. It's hard to do so when I'm being attacked while it's going on. Hey, hey, chill, chill. Die. There we go. Okay, no more tricks. Ooh, that's a trick. That's a trick. Ooh. Very, 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 very careful. Very, very. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Get away. This. Ooh. Ooh. You are dash, dead. dash. Okay, <laughs> there's the. I got some real anxiety out of that. Oh, here they come. Shoot. Oh. Okay. Okay, there was no hole there. I don't know what I got hit by then. Darn it, I know I got hit by that. One HP. Everything is coming to kill me. Everything is coming to kill me. It's just constant death on this end. It's just constant. I was 
I'm pretty close, to be fair. Like, pretty close to the end. It's just that the ridiculousness of this level. Like, the they hit me with all the ridiculousness. Every single time. Equip that extra hit point, because, like, I'm getting destroyed. This is a tough decision, because the dash, even though it's not working right now, I know it's effective, against, especially against the cannon stars. So, I'm wondering, do I take slight invincibility, or actually, let me put back on my high damage rounds. The roundabout probably isn't my best option here. Should I A and should I B? Okay. Back to the classic. Invincibility probably won't do good for me here. Because it's very limited. And it doesn't have as much time on it. But I feel like we're good for now. Can I... I can shoot the duck. I can shoot the duck. Wait a minute. This is a revelation. This is a revelation. Cars. Cars. Oh, hyper armor. It saved me slightly, but it, it knew it knew I did something wrong. It caught me. It caught me. This is we found something new. I can't believe it. Oh, no. <laughs> Darn. We found something new. Something that will probably very much so take the difficulty off of this. Die ducks. Die all of you. Keep firing. Oh boy, oh, 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 oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I've gotten to the spot where everything wants to kill me. Oh no. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. What is that? What is that? Oh no. This is a madhouse. What do I, what what is this? How do I move past that thing? Ooh. I'm at one HP. It's so terrifying. It is so terrifying. Let's just not. Let's let's just nope it. He's what? stupid. Oh. How close was that? I really. I really hope that there's no boss at the end of this. That first wall is enough of a boss. I really hope that there's no boss at the end of this. Please just let this be a simple running gun. You know, as simple as Cuphead can get. I don't know about this. I don't know about this area. This, this area is bad. This area is pain. This area is all the pain. All the pain. Hit it. No! Should we not have? I'm confused on that one. Huh. I'm confused. Okay. We got really close. I think there's no boss. I don't think there's a boss. There's nothing I can do about that, is there? There's just nothing. You know, I'm slightly terrified, because I heard a popping noise, and that I didn't hear that popping noise until the hot dog was a thing. And if there's another boss in this running gun, I'm going to have some issues. I'm real, I really am. None of this should exist, yet it does. Get away from me. This thing is, it's not going to leave that area, is it? Okay, it died. Good riddance. Let's just do this. Okay. Okay. Dodge. I'm losing, I'm losing my lives. I lost my lives to stupidity. Oh, that hurts so much. Let's not be stupid. Let's not be stupid. Let's not be. Let's not be stupid. Top level is life. 
that doesn't mean you should be stupid. That one gave you a pass for stupidity. There's another one. There's another one. No, uh oh, what? Uh oh, what? Uh oh. Bro, this is. This is real life stupidity. It's not even um, it's not even my stupidity. It's not even my stupidity. It's not even my stupidity. never to see that wall again except for the first part of it but no I couldn't have that luxury the game said that was too easy you can't just run away from a pointless thing we're gonna make it even more pointless by having it be the very end of the stage yes that makes so much sense yeah yeah that's it's a whole lot of sense you got there game I I love your design choices I really do brick wall the most original thing ever the most original thing I've ever seen I can't believe you came up with such a unique idea really like that's this is the best this is the best slight boss fight that I've ever seen from any game ever I can't believe you thought so outside the box with this it's amazing how did how did you how did you come up with it just the originality of a rectangle that fires lips at you for some reason how did you how did you do it how did you just know this was this was where you wanted to go with your team of creative minds this was what you would decide on as the final draft the final thing that a player would face you decided that that would be the final thing that they would see I hate, I hate that. Yes, cause everyone wants to see a brick wall. Yes. Have to decide when the right time to dash is. Can I get the parry? Game, game. You just killed me. You just killed me, game. You just. Why did this game didn't even follow its own mechanics? How was I supposed to? I was doing so well. This game just completely ignored its mechanics at the split second, and I just lost every single one of my lives. The game just forgot what parrying was. It just completely forgot it, it existed, and I couldn't get it. I couldn't get it. I couldn't even begin to tell you how a game forgets its own mechanic, but it just did. Can't wait until I look back. Until I get to look back on how much I've suffered and just be like, you know what? It wasn't worth it at all, but I had a good time. I. Some, somewhere down the road. It was good. Somewhere down the road. Give me the parry game! I just want to. I just want to be good at game. I just want to. I I really just want to win. And do you see how different the positioning of that card is from the rest of them? They know. They know that that card wasn't going to be hit easily. So they put it there just to annoy me. Anyone who got in this stage, they put it there. In particular, they knew. What's the most difficult area you can hit? It's probably gonna be the one that is right that is literally hugging the floor. Good idea. We're gonna make it right there. The mechanic that is legitimately the only way that you can progress. We're gonna put it right next to the floor. So there's no way they could actually reach it.
Nothing else to say. Let's move on to World 2. We're, not World 2. Forget World 2. World 3. We're moving on to World 3. That was so unnecessary. I got all five coins, though. It'd be minus. That was so unnecessary of a running gun. I could have done better. I could have done so much better earlier. But I think more than anything, it was probably the simplicity that killed me. That's what it felt like. It was so simple that it killed me. <laughs> Darn, that was rough. For no reason at all. But it's fine. It's, it's over. On to World 3. And the final World, I believe, too. So, oh, they're going to bring out all the stops this time. Oh, I can't, I can't wait to see what's in here. Let's do it. Inkwell Isle 3. Let's do it. Hello, King Dice, once more. Looks like I might have underestimated you bums. You gave it to them debtors, but good. Go on over to the next island. Lots of fun times waiting for you there. I don't know why I gave him like a Boston accent. <laughs> I just decided that that would be the voice he'd get. Oh, we got cutscene. These little mugs have some fight in them, I'll say that much. They're making mincemeat out of them debtors. You see, I knew there was something special about those fellas. Well, don't be too sure just yet, boss. I think there's something fishy about those two. Don't blow your wig, Dice. If those two little things try anything, I'll be waiting. Ooh, okay. Hmm. Last world. Here we go, and it looks big and painful. That's what she said. <laughs> I just thought about it. <laughs> oh, uh, oh boy, I shouldn't have thought about that too much. Anyway, <laughs> new world, new sights. Lots to see, lots to do. Can't wait. What boss did we do first? Probably the first one that comes up, which is this moving building here. Rumor Honey Bottoms in the Honeycomb Herald. But before we actually jump into this, let me see what would probably be worth it to buy down the line since I do have five coins. I like the music here already too. It's really nice. Okay, the bridge is up. Doesn't look like there's any way I can get to a shop. So if I do need something, I might have to like travel back to the next world right quick. You know what? Let's just jump into it just to see the experience. I'll have to, you know, so I can judge what I might need in this instance. Okay, this oh, there's a lot of platforms. What exactly do I do here? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we got bees. There's like, there's a lot of stuff flying around. You know, one thing that I noticed already that I do like about this is that the platforms don't drop. They they don't drop, which is very good. But I see that we're kind we kind of have like a a sonic a sonic uh, chemical plant zone going on in the way that the uh what's whatever's below us I think it's honey probably like really hot honey it's overflowing. And, uh, you know, slowly consuming the stage. I'm going back to aisle two, just to see what is in the shop that will benefit me the most. I feel like I need something to help me out. Something you got can help me. Long range with below average damage is definitely not where I want to go. First parry is automatic. All you need to do is jump. And that's probably for anything that's parryable first parry move so does it have a cooldown or just is it just the first because if it's only the first then i don't feel like it's worth it medium damage medium range good damage with a slower rate of fire i feel like lobber might be good for me because it's medium range and i feel like based on the icon that it sort of drops down so it might be good. Hold attack to increase damage on rapid fire, so precision is key. I don't think charge will be where I want to go with this. I feel like I want to get lobber. Lobber feels like it'd be worth it. And one more coin, nothing is worth one coin. So 
Uh, let me experiment just for a bit with Lobber. I'm hoping it's worth it, but if not, then I'll definitely change it to something else. Just put that on right. That's not that. I'm gonna keep shot A, shot B, B, Lobber. Alright, let's go back. Let's see what becomes of us. Alright, let's see how good this is. <laughs> Lobber. Okay. It says good damage. It's gonna be decent damage. As long as I get my targeting on par. And I tried not to hit that, I really did. Okay. He's okay. Decent damage. And the time bomb is still going okay. Decent damage. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh no. Okay. That second stage seems not too bad at all. It doesn't seem too bad. I I don't mind it, but it's just the beginning stages, but I, I still don't think that's too bad. For for uh, what this one is, you know, projectiles. I don't, I don't hate it. I don't hate it, which is good. I was trying to stay as still as possible so I wouldn't make any stupid decisions. Why is there a worker bee still? Okay, okay. Yeah, I, I, I just decided, you know. Falling off the map was the best strategy. I had to take it. I had to take that. I didn't have to take that though. That that was needless. Unnecessary. Okay, he doesn't he doesn't hurt me if he's dead. Can I just What is that? I don't well I won't get to see what it is. She, she's so random. She's so random. She can just decide what. She can just decide whatever she wants to throw down. It's a. It's just legal. It's just legal. What? Oh, through the middle. Okay. Oh, that's so quick. She does it so quickly. She does it so quickly. Where? Okay, to the side. What do the balls do? Oh, just orbits, I guess. There's multiples. I couldn't do anything because that was no platform. If I, if I opted for the extra hit point instead, I wonder how good it would be still. Okay, she sent the ball. Ball that orbits. The oh my, the platforming. The platforming. I get that it's everywhere, but at the same time, it's not. It's not in the spaces that I need it to be. Oh, that was close. I he hit me with his shoulder and then left. So cheap. So very cheap of you. Okay, circle. Can deal with circle. I don't like the both of them, but it's. Oh, I can parry them! Okay, that's good to know, actually. So I'm not completely helpless when it comes to those. The triangle, though, the triangle is just on its own. You know what? I just figured. It's probably good to switch. It's probably good to switch to a side that already has the bullets passing through. If I swap, if I swap back and forth, then there's a high chance that I won't get hit. Okay. Don't don't drown. Don't drown. Don't sink. Don't do any of that. Triangles again.
Oh, the triangle is lasting now. What? What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? Oh, okay, she could just do that. Sure, I I guess. Okay, and I can't land anywhere near the bottom or else that happens. That's the last stage. I love this. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. 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 I, I feel like I've got something. Is that really the last stage? I feel like I've... Like I've got something. I've got a good grasp of things before it got too bad. And I, you know what, and I got too stupid. I got too stupid. But, it's a learning. It's a learning experience that I just had. I, I just learned a lot with seeing that boss fight. Okay, after some thinking, I believe I might just equip the extra hit point. I want to see how this how good this works for me. Because if the lobber does good damage, then I feel like... It's Here's a real high class battle. You're up. In return for a Like a little bit of reduced damage will kill me. We still, we still got him around the same amount of time as we usually would. platforms don't come through for you. Okay. Okay. And they can come around too. How? 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 When I heard that final life just tick down, you know, the one before my final life in actuality. <laughs> Got choked up there. In actuality, because um, at the very end, I don't know if, if I recorded it or not, but I swapped to the extra hit point. I probably recorded it, but yeah. Swapping to the extra hit point, even though, uh, you know, it reduces your damage, having lobber. Lobber was so good on his damage that it was near, it was next to nothing in re damage reduction. So I was actually being smart about probably doing next to average damage compared to what I usually would do. And that was, that was very good because it actually ended up paying off for me. It 
was hard to get used to, of course, because like Invisible Dash is nearly a staple on all of my builds. But um, I didn't use it this time, as I did with. I think I took it out for Baroness too. I forget who I took it out for. But yeah, those special few bosses that don't require you to use Invisible Dash, you need you need more health. You need more health over damage because you have time to strategize a little bit more. It gives you more room to create openings for yourself than it is just getting repeatedly hit. You know, rinse and repeat would get very tedious after a while and it'd be stupid to continue to do the same strategy and not get anywhere. That's why I took the hit point over damage. And it didn't mean anything as you saw because the bosses, the, the minions, uh, didn't last that long, and the Queen Bee didn't last that long either. So, yeah, it, it was pretty much no change. Okay, I think the hardest is behind us, maybe. I just want to see what's next on our agenda. What do we have to do next? We have a ship over here that uh, looks pretty animated, so that's a boss. It was a running gun and something else. It was a sc scrapyard? Sort of, it's a lab, it's a lab. Dr. Cowles, 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 Robot and Junkyard Jive. That's what we're gonna do next. Okay, this was a, a bit of like a filler episode, you could say, just run and gun from uh, World 2 and a boss in World 3. 50%, I mean a little bit over now. So I'm feeling pretty accomplished. I've done most of what I've wanted to do today. I think between this boss and the running gun that I did to kick things off, it was more so the simplicity that took me out of things. It was so simple in theory as I said before, but to actually pull off defeating or getting to the end of a course was easier said than done. Because the damage they did, the tactics they used, there were different strategies that I had to get used to. I've run over them like a million times. They just kept tripping me up until I actually decided in one single run that I'd put all that I would learn to the test and it would pay off in the end. Can't wait to see what other tortures await me in the rest of this city. It looks like a huge map so far. There's a lot of closures on this side, so I can't wait to see what uh, what else I have to get into. Anyway, I'm glad that you guys have uh, watched this episode. I hope you guys continue to be awesome. Uh, as always, all types of support are very much appreciated. I hope you guys continue to be awesome. I don't know if I said that. Oh boy, I've just, just been through so much this episode. Not as much as, you know, the rest of them, but enough. For now. See you guys. Thanks.